Well, the sun's out and it's a beautiful day. Which one of these guys are we gonna work on? I think we're gonna do the Samurai. Oh. What is up guys? We're out here in a sunny winter day. Gotta take advantage of this. One thing we're gonna be working on with the Samurai today is a new top. We've had this top since I bought the Samurai. It's holding water for the most part, but it's definitely weathered. I'll show you, it's got some spots on it that are like really torn up. We got a new soft top for Christmas and really excited to throw it on there. Not only to have a new top, but this new top can do things that the current one can't. Plus tinted windows looks awesome. So most of this soft top is in good condition. A little bit weathered in some of the usual spots, but one of the things that's different about this one is this spot right here. So this is actually an aftermarket roll cage that somebody installed here and it kind of sticks out. Like you can see it's sticking out this way. Most of the time that wouldn't be a huge deal, but I think that's what caused this. On both sides, we've got a good amount of tear right here in the corner. And I think it's just cause this is pushing out. So everything's pretty tight. Um, I mean, there's kind of some weird wrinkles here just because of that bar sticking out. On the bottom, everything looks nice and tight. Don't really have any rips or anything down here. Most of it looks pretty good, but same problem on this side. See that bow is starting to rust. One thing I never liked about this soft top was that the back windows are just clear. They're not tinted. And you know, that just lets a lot of sun in there. Everything's baking in there and getting really hot. And the other thing is when I wheel, I like to take the doors off. Well, there's not really a way to just get these windows up. So what I do is I roll the back window up and then I leave these down. That way I have something over me so I'm not getting super sunburnt and hot in the sun. And then I have these side windows on there. So it's not bad, but what I would prefer is to have just that top, like a big bikini top and not have to swap it out with my actual soft top, which is why this new one is pretty cool. While the sun's out and we're taking the top off the Samurai, we're gonna let these just bake in the sun and get nice and soft. I'm hoping this fits a little bit loose so that issue we have with the bars isn't gonna be a factor and then that'll probably take out any remaining slack we have. First impressions of this though, I think it looks really good. Uh, the quality seems great and I'm really excited about the tinted windows, if you can't tell. So we're gonna let these bake in the sun while we start to get the soft top off of the Samurai. Wow, it got hot out here all of a sudden. So it ended up taking me about 30 minutes to put this new top on. It comes with these tensioners. You're gonna see here in a second. I didn't need to use those. Mine's plenty tight. <laughs> all right, so we're inside the Samurai now and you can see these windows aren't so dark, can't see out of them. They're just tinted. On, on the outside, they look like they're really dark, but in here, it's just nice. Good amount of light in here and we're not gonna be roasting in the summer like we're used to. Plenty of visibility out of here. Get you some shots of what the bow and the bar look like up there on the top. So you can see my straps and stuff up there are kind of bent up right now. And there's my tensioning strap right there, which is gonna have to go down there somewhere to tighten up. Once we make our changes to the rear back here, that's when we're gonna get those straps tightened up and that's when we're gonna figure out where they go. But for now, pretty stoked to have a brand new top. Looks great, can't ask for much more than that. So they do make this top with regular clear windows. If 
you don't want the tinted windows, they also come with a couple different colors. So if you're interested in this top, just go down in the description. I'll have some Amazon associate links down there and you can find this top. It's actually a pretty inexpensive top, especially when you compare it to like a Jeep Wrangler soft top. I think this one's going for about $200 right now. And like I said, if you use that Amazon associate link, it's just gonna give a little bit of a kickback to our channel so we can fund more projects like this and have more content for you guys. All right, got the Samurai back in my crowded garage. You might notice something a little different from this view. What is that? Oh yes, it's a mismatched fender flare. No, that's pretty cool though. I'm glad we finally got one of those on there. I need to sand it down and get it painted to match. Or what do you think? Should I just go black on all four? I don't know. Dude, this new top looks awesome. I was being lazy and I wasn't gonna put these tensioners on, but I did it, okay? So I just went to right there. I'm not even sure where they're supposed to go. So, I mean, this is kind of in the way a little bit, but can take it off when we don't need it. And I kind of had a brain fart earlier. For some reason, I was thinking it takes the tension out of the top as a whole, but it seems like what it does is just tighten this top down when you take the windows and the back window out. I'm not as smart as you guys, all right? So it took me a second. I know people are gonna be like, why do you have it in the garage again? Now what are you gonna do? Well, it doesn't end. I mean, it needs to get bigger and better and then I break it and I have to fix it again. So what are we doing next? I don't know. No, actually, I do know. Um, ooh, a little dirt bike action. So actually what we need to do is put... There we go. So what we need to do is put some uh, more spacer on the drive line because as you saw earlier, it's just too far from the front axle. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Um, it's kind of a Band-Aid fix right now. I don't wanna run a spacer at all. And now I'm running one that's gonna be even bigger, but we've gotta take it in and get a new drive shaft made or this one lengthened if we can. So we'll see, I might just have to put a Band-Aid fix on it for now. Um, we also have that cross member under there that's getting in the way. So it's another thing we gotta fix, but um, it's worth it, looks pretty good. Just washed it and it's good. This way we can see any fresh fluids that it's leaking so we can find out what a catastrophic breakage we have now. If you wanna see more of this Samurai in action, make sure you subscribe We put a video out like every week. And that way you can see this soft top keeping the dust out and shedding rain. No, but seriously, if you guys wanna check out more, make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. We will see you next time.